Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna show you how I made these cats cat keychains. It's fast, so fast, it takes around 10 minutes per keychain and it's really cute. I I'm gonna call this a droopy eye series since all of them have a droopy eyes. <laughs> And it's really cute. This is good for souvenir, a small gift. And you can make an applique from it, use it as a decoration, like some 2D de decoration, sew it on blanket, uh, church, anything. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with gray yarn, 3.5 millimeters crochet hook or size E and we're gonna crochet this piece. I already do one, we're gonna make another one. But starting where <laughs> Okay. We're gonna start with six single crochet into a circle. You can start any other way, magic ring, three change, form a circle and do six chain over it. Any other way that you have finished the first round with six single crochet in a circle shape. I'm gonna do two chain, so start slowly. <laughs> Put the hook over here, wrap it up, oh, oops, wrap it up over here like this, run the hook down and use this to pinch here, hook this through, now I got the first chain and the second chain then six single crochet on the first chain. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet. Five single crochet, six single crochet, and we're gonna work in spiral. So we tight, hold this, pull this tight to close the round. And next round, we're gonna work on here. We do, <laughs> we gonna do increase all around. So increase for six time. Two single crochet into. The same stitch. So here, first single crochet and another one into the same stitch. Repeating this for six times. So this is one increase, the second increase into the same stitch, one into the next stitch, one into the same stitch, one into the next stitch, one into the same stitch. Okay, where are we? One into the next stitch, one into the same stitch. And the sixth one, one into the next stitch, one into the same stitch. And at this point, if you count the stitch back, you should have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So. Next round, we're going to do one single crochet and increase and repeat for a total of six times. So one single crochet into the next stitch and increase into the next stitch and then another one to the same stitch like that. One single crochet into the next stitch, increase, two into the same stitch, one and two, one into the next stitch. 
one, no, two into the next stitch. One, two. And we are just repeating this all around. If you are a tight hand crochet, like your tension is really tight and this circle turned into a hexagon, you may be swap the place by doing the increase first and then followed by a single crochet. So one single crochet, increase. One single crochet and increase to the same stitch. Next round, you're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, and then increase. One single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, and increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. Not yet. One single crochet, two single crochet, increase. One single crochet. No, 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 done, done, done. <laughs> Done. So one, two, three. Yes, we are finished round three. And we should have another round three. Round four. And we should one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, no stitch missing, and a total of twenty-four stitch. Next, we gonna slip stitch for two times. So slip stitch in the next two stitch. Slip stitch number one. Slip stitch number two. And now we're gonna start the ear. Uh, four chain, one, two, three, four, four chains. Then slip stitch on the second chain from the hook. So slip stitch here. So this is the first chain and this is the second chain. We slip stitch on this chain. So slip stitch here. like that and half double crochet so yarn over like this and put the hook through into the next chain and hook this all through to do the half half double crochet then double crochet into the next stitch so instead of hook it all through we hook through two of the loop and hook it through again to do double crochet. Now skip two chain. So you, you see the one that we at that attach here and we skip one, skip two and slip stitch on the third chain here. The third stitch, slip stitch. There one ear. Two slip stitch in the next two stitch. <laughs> slip stitch in the next two. Okay. So another one slip stitch, two slip stitch. And then we're gonna re we're gonna repeat the whole process again to make another ear. 
So, chain four, four chains. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And slip stitch. Skip the first chain and then slip stitch. Slip stitch. And then half double crochet. Yarn over. Hook this through the next chain. And hook it all through the three loop. Half double crochet. And then double crochet into the last chain that we have here. So yarn over. Hook this through. Hook through two of the loop. And hook through another two. That's double crochet. And one chain. Two chain. We skip. And slip stitch on the third chain. Slip stitch. And done. Where is the scissor? Now we're gonna make two of them. One of them you're gonna leave quite a long tail for sewing. So this one I'm gonna cut it short. Fast enough, and you see like a little knot pointing out right here. We're just gonna hook it to the back. Here, so we're gonna sew this together. But before we do that, we're going to make the face of the cat first. Grab some white yarn. I hope this can be seen. And we're just gonna work like the first round. Just six single crochet into the circle. Just six single crochet in the circle shape you can do anyway. And I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit if you since it's white and it's really hard to see on the camera or at least from my point of view it's kind of hard to see so six single crochet into the first chain one two three four five and six Slip stitch to close the work. Slip stitch. Pull this. That's enough. We're going to sew this piece on here. So, the top of the circle, the top of the small circle, are touching the center of the face. So this center point is this center point here and there. And we just gonna sew that attached to the piece. And I'm gonna twist it a little bit like this so our uh what is it yarn stay on the right side since I'm the right hand if you're a lefty put it on the left and we're gonna sew just the upper half first and just go up and down and make sure that it looks neat
Okay. I still didn't sew the lower half. I'm just going to point the needle from the middle here and back to the middle and pull that so the cap and make sure that the thread is straight and we're gonna pull I'm gonna pull it up so they have like the upside down heart shape something like that you can skip this it's not necessary but I found that doing this make it a little bit cuter and I'm just gonna do that again there and then we sew all the remaining secure Just gonna tie and we tie the knot. I have this uh, cotton thread for summer crochet cloth like when you have to wear the crochet things in summer you cannot wear the yarn because it's too warm we use we, we use this cotton thread to crochet but guys that's so hard work and i just use it for embroidery things you can use normal thread but i found the the thicker thread here make it make things faster and that's it or you can just use regular black yarn I'll show you after this the difference between using yarn and using thread. Okay. Quick way to tie the knot. Sometimes I get the comment. So you grab it. Uh, like that. And run your finger like. Pinch it. Pinch it really hard and run your finger like this until it twists and you pinch it over here and pull now you got a knot okay let's embroidery the face I'm gonna start with a, the nose this is just like the easy easy embroidery running this for two times or three times until the nose is here visibly mm. there. and Crochet the eyes. You can use uh, plastic eyes. You can do the round eyes. I'm just gonna do a droopy eyes because it's easy and cute. And it's gonna run it two times. There. It's cute. And try to make another one look similar. Not sure if it's gonna turn out equally <laughs> left and right. This, this side is a little bit more droopy. It's fine. Oops. 
and so and also tie the knot You can finish. You can stop here. Use it. Use this as an applique. Put it on the cloth. Put it on like decoration, whatever you want. But since I'm gonna make a keychain, I we make another piece that look the same. Show the right side out. Put it over, and hide all the knots inside. And run this up and down to attach two pieces. And when I reach the middle of the hint where I plan to put a keychain there, I sew this piece in or you can sew the whole keychain in but for this one I'm just gonna use this like a phone holder so that I'm gonna sew this triangle things in This should secure enough and just keep sewing. Try to match it stitch by stitch since it the same pieces, the same type work, it should you it should have the same stitch count, so I just try to run it up and down each stitch And for the remaining yarn, I'm just gonna run it through the middle of the work and put in the other side. If you you pull this yarn quite tight, and if you do it tight enough, when you cut the yarn as close as possible to the work, the yarn to slide in, and voila. Just gonna there done done okay. and you can do it in multiple colors you can add you can add the is that patterns patterns and black and this one is the one that I try without the small face so it's still cute but I found that with little popping up face like this even though it's the same color it look cuter and now I'm just gonna add the cheek to the remaining you can finish it like this or when you make the faces you can embroidery the extra pink uh, pink thread or pink yarn in there oh right this one is the one that I embroidery with white yarn 
and this is the one that I embroidery with all the black thread. So you can see the difference. And I just use a uh, old brush, brush on, yes, and cotton bud. And oops, be careful. And just put it there. A little bit twist to make sure it stay done. I would say it would be faster with uh, pink yarn, but I found the blood look kind of better in the camera. Will this stay after the laundry? I don't know. <laughs> Normally I avoid it, but then it just looked huge. Done. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. I have a couple of the Droopy Eye series that are gonna coming out in the following week. So if you're still not subscribed, please consider subscribe it free. And see you again in the next video. If you like this video, click a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of this small project i find it faster but you know if you prefer the usual full 3d dolls comment down below and i'll see you again in the next video have a nice day everyone bye